Hi, Gail. Hello, Henry. Are you aware of the recent PISA 2018 released results? Yes, this morning in the staff room, we were discussing some report findings. But what is exactly measured by this international test? Well, PISA measures students' abilities in applying what they have learned in class to real-life situations. It covers science, reading and mathematics. All 15-year-old students in Malta participated in the 2018 PISA computer-based assessment. So the results reveal students' scientific literacy as well as their capacity to formulate, employ and interpret mathematics, right? Yes, indeed. The test also features a reading component that gauges students' ability to understand, evaluate and engage with texts. So basically, students do not need to recall memorised facts, but are asked to interpret texts, solve mathematical problems and explain a phenomenon scientifically using their knowledge and reasoning skills. Is that correct? Yes, that's it. The individual student scores then count towards the national mean scores. Yeah, every time PISA results are announced, the main focus is about ranking countries. True, the media often communicates such data. However, results also provide valid insights about current education practices in our schools. I was not surprised to read that female students in Malta scored significantly higher in reading. Similar results feature in mathematics and science too. Like in most PISA participating countries, Local girls scored significantly higher than boys. However, the proportion of Maltese male high achievers in both maths and science exceeds the proportion of females. Hmm. This is in fact aligned to international trends where the proportion of high male achievers surpasses that of females. Henry, I'm also interested about the data showing that a significant percentage of Maltese students have clear ideas about their future career paths. Yes, indeed. The data also reflects that career expectations end up to follow prevalent gender stereotyping. I really look forward to analysing the full report in depth. Yeah. During our next maths department meetings, we plan to focus on the report findings to elicit ways that further develop students' performance. Oh, this surely reflects multi-students' highly positive perception about teachers' enthusiasm and support. I'm off to my next class, Henry. Yeah. See you around, Gail. Bye.